It does. This is pretty strong. Multiple, they, lots of instances versus how, TA. How are you catching this Weaver, this Amber, this Slark? Yeah. I, it's not going to be easy. No, um, like no catch. No. So, and yeah, lots of damage instances. We've got Flame, Five we've got Flame Guard, left. we've got Dark yes. Packs, we've got Arcane Curse, even Bugs. I mean, they don't burn that fast, but every little one of these things do add up. Okay. It does feel like it's a bit of an uphill battle for OG. Yeah, it really does. I mean, which is going to make it all the more entertaining if they are able to do this here in this game one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it definitely seems like the, the, the deck stacked against them here uh, with what IG's been able to open up with, with this draft. But very exciting, ladies and gentlemen, to see what will happen between teams. As mentioned, of course, this is a very important game for OG. They wish to fight for the, the chance to stay in the upper bracket. Very likely, like we said, if they take one game, I believe That's they should be pretty, okay. pretty okay to go. But they, they need take, that one game. If they two, take 2-0, two it's very likely yeah. as well, too. But yeah, it's all dependent on how the other games go, too, because they are tied up with... Yeah, this is such a good slot game for Fly Fly. And I even so for, for Emo, too, right? There's literally like just like no stuns. There's just not really a lot of stables. This, and they have this the This just going to pop off. I like, mean... Let's say... Let's Say uh, uh, Sam does get the situations where he gets good RPs off yeah. too. A global comes out. There's not going to be the follow-up for them to keep this Ember, keep this this Slark control. So it feels like an uphill battle, but we will see as it yeah, all kicks this off. Is, uh, it's going to be an entertaining one to watch for sure. But uh, some of that uh, typical TIOG magic coming out here. Go, getting yourself into the action, ladies and gentlemen. OG versus IG. <laughs> Instantly <laughs> tipping emo too. Look at them. <laughs> Always a little bit of mental game coming into play. And I feel like we're gonna have the most chat wheels that we've gotten to the cast. You feel? This and is the this is right. the game. Just... I, the two of them, honestly. Yeah, IG so. is also very historically known for doing those, especially JT. And JT is gonna do the <laughs> item build that we saw. Uh, I think popularized more so by uh, Old Eleven. I saw him doing it in his pubs even before coming to this tournament. The Bassy first. Cool. Looks like Kaka, he's got his sentries, they're checking to see the board. There. The other side, OG. The high ground. Are they gonna block camps? Both of them. Starting with two sentries on both of five positions, so... Potentially blocking out those small camps. Versus both of these heroes that utilize small camp excellently. Get a high five, Seb. Nope. Nope. I mean, get this by Sumel as well. He's melded. Melded on the rune. Whew. Okay. Are your cards right? Can you play it? Easy. He makes the music. I got it. So three runes. A little bit damaged on Dolly here. Saxon. Run them down a bit. Let's see how the, the lanes sort of settle up. I mean, who, do, any sort of lanes that are going to be struggling? Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm just curious to see how bottom's going to be, really. Because sure, I haven't seen the, safe, yeah, the carry TAs versus the Shaker. He should, I feel like the TA is going to be able to have a pretty good time. Should be able to keep his distance. Refraction's really nice. I don't see how the Weaver is going to slow it down either. So TA should farm. Uh, I think Slark is probably going to be the one that struggles. Even though it's a double melee in t with a silencer backing up, it's just, it's ET. At ET versus these these weaker heroes inside a laning phase, he just completely thrives. Sure. Yeah, he just trades so well. Yeah. Especially yes, having the seven of the side as well, where Seb's got a few levels yeah. of all the sort of setup to get IG's heroes in some unfavorable positions. They're already starting their little creep pull mechanics, making the Slark farm under the tower with a double creep wave while Seb is still harassing him, so Flyfly Fly is pretty miserable up there. Fly Fly. Very low. Let's hit the two. We'll see now. Ollie has to contest the creeps in between the two towers. That's not easy for him today. Saxon. Still handle that. Very nicely in mid lane. Mo with the a slight lead at the moment. Bottle already on its way out, of course. Mm -hmm. Skill matchup, but slight. I would give slight advantage to Emperor. Changes and nerfs that would. But it's still skill matchup, so I think it could come out even on his side. See how bottom's going, JT. Big melt. 
That hurts though. Level one melt is no joke. Minus five armor. JT he steps up. He's getting his second one. Oh, he's dead this he's time. I can't believe he lets himself get the minus ten armor. He still had the debuff from the first one when the second one hit him. Oh, wow. Samael. He's going to be very happy with that one. That's blood for Samael. Safe lane is, yeah. Big mistake there from JT. Expected it to do that much damage. For a split second when the second one connected. Wave will push into him though, so he will be able to get the nice comes the experience on his way. Oops, it's dead. Yeah, this is a cool solution for the uh what we've been seeing a lot of times from these shakers is the enchant totem damage inside the laning phase starts to become pretty overwhelming versus a lot of these carries. Jeez, well, I mean he but, is bullying JT down here. But refraction, you know, you pop the enchant totem, he pops refraction, he eats the whole hit. It's not there and high fiving it now. He knows how well he's doing in that lane. 17-5. And JT's a good sport, though. Only too much Kaka can do to, to make this any easier for JT down here, it seems. Well, they do have the level 3 now on the Shaker. That's one of those big times we always talk about. You do have level 3. Oh, man. Just stun, man. Nice. Oh, oh, he opts to stand his ground, but... He's gonna die for that, he might get the kill. I'm surprised Emo's actually living. I, think, I thought he was gonna suicide the tower right away. I guess he's gonna let himself survive and just go He's got a bouncer in on the high ground. Yeah, that's fine, okay. Well, we've seen that a lot from a lot of these players. You get the solo kill on the mid and then you just suicide the tower so you come back to full HP when he comes back, but... Yeah, I mean, Thompson made the, the, made the call to not to simulate out. Yep. Felt that maybe he would have the damage to get the job done, he didn't. The big kill. Uh, absolutely, Emo already was having a very nice time in that mid. All right, No-Tail is just bodying both heroes now, bottom. So yeah, this, this bottom lane free farm. going downhill pretty rapidly yeah. for, uh, for IG. Samael, complete free farm. They're not able to slow Radiant him down right now. That being said, though, Flyfly Fly doing better than I'd expected, to be honest with you. 19 CS up onto him. Now Soxa is level 3, so that's where the spirit really starts to get its true power. 115 damage. Flyfly Fly has to instant away. Kaka trying to get the rune. Going to be able to do so. Topson. All his. Emo. Dias and JT has to support pop back up to the last. It's as we said, lane positioning. Since they did get the kill on him, it did shove all the way under his tower. He actually has a full Falcon Blade, I believe, for the Dumb Hunter Shaker. Yeah, Diving in from Thompson here. They've got the chains. Looks out as well, but a TP coming in from No Tail. Radiant uh, Courier. Okay. Stop them. Uh, yeah. Well, lose his Courier, though. Yeah. Indeed. Good part so. of the No Tally recipe. He's <laughs> trying to get a rehold of the, the wave here with that pull. It's gonna be. Oh, no. oh, I was kind of thinking about going for these courier snipes behind tower, but. Two. Dax getting started just yet. Sucks him. Putting more attention, just playing in the laning phase. Probably will start backing up in the next few moments to start stacking ancients up because they do have that TA. And he has, I guess he has slowed down the Slark a little bit. I just thought the Slark was going to be slowed down even more. Yeah, in comparison. Sure, because yeah, overall it's. Yeah. Without Dust and Mail just having the freest lane at the moment. Yeah. Full, full farm down bottom is. Well, 17 more charges, so he's. More than fine. Yeah. Radiance bottom tower is under here. attack. Once the six is on the shaker, then they have potential to go for any plays on TA, because then they have a way to actually break refraction with Echo Slime if there's around a creep wave because of all the separate instances from the Echo. And Soxa is, yeah, he's starting to get some stacks started. Not the mission, but he wants to check the rune for Topson. They will be able to get it. Emo. Speeding. Whoa, I don't the right on top of it as well. It's top. Try and go on Seb. Ah, uh, they'll have the damage for that one. Seb caught out by the curse. As soon as they knew the ET wasn't in the area, Seb made an aggressive move. It's green. Until we see some of the moves from the, the mids come into play, Samael is he's just not going to be under any sort of pressure. Very, very lucky down on this bottom half of the map. And he's always topped off. Those yep. just keeping him nice and healthy. If he's topped off, then they can't make a play for Echo. The only way they can use the Echo play when he's six is if this, the TA is a bit low, and then they walk in from like, the side and he gets a like, good connection with it. Super unlikely. Absolutely need a rotation, like from Emo. 
which is possible very early on that the Ember Spirit can hit that bottom lane. Don't really have the mana just yet. Six minute rune. This is a sentry troll and the traps down. It makes it very hard for JT or Kaka to come that far down the lane at all. Gaius Courier has been killed! Serves you right! No doubt. Maybe stepping up a bit too far this time around. The bug's committed. Some out by his side and trap down. Oh, he's gonna throw the end Yeah, take the kill. <laughs> gonna also get this whole creep wave. Radiant's middle tower is not slow start, so yeah, it's an echo for a kill. Sure. As you say, you're never gonna kill Samel with the echo anyway, down there. Yeah, it's, a, it's just a bit too difficult. Best you know. Good play. Kaka not making the move toward top. <laughs> definitely look to set up kills onto Seb pretty easy now if the pants does connect. Look at the last word. You silence right afterwards when the pounce does end. Farm on Emo's just stacking some camps Dyer's in the meantime, middle tower is under attack. Maximize his. <laughs> the rune's being checked both times. No tail. Again, securing the rune bottom for Topson and we get Lucian up earlier. They're actually gonna try to Dyer's middle out tower's a in bit. trouble. We'll force him away, Dyer but again? he had the remnant down on the hard camp with his flame guard. So <laughs> we'll be able to farm that for Emo. Risky though. Gotta watch out though, IG, for potential moves from Topson now. The yeah. arcane picked up. Incredibly potent rune. Absolutely. And he's got the midway nice. fully Middle pushed in too, to so. Disintegrated. Has opportunities to hunt. Hunting he is. He, JT, he definitely could be in trouble here. The arcane. He's going for this. He's gonna jump in. Quick combo. Oh, and he gets all the creeps too. Running at the same time up top. Find all the out position, Seb. Take him out. Flyfly will try and punch back into Seb, but can't trade hits easily, especially Topson. with Sansa back around. He's going toe to toe with Emo. The remnant control. Thompson is having a run. He's going to have to simulate back up in a second, and Emo knows it won't waste time chasing. My there. Space just continues for Samael. He's, he's one care ahead of anyone else in the game. Taxa, step up here. Fly, fly. He's gonna try and use the Shadow Dance to continue chasing down, but Seb comes in with the skewer and threatens with the RP. So Fly Fly has to back off. We'll hold off on dropping the RP though. Still available for the next play. And it looks like Absolutely quick. And it looks like in the meanwhile when Ali did get killed before as a Sancho, I was wondering what his positioning was. He was actually warding ancient. So he was looking to block out that ancient camp so that they keep stacking it, but that sentry, he sees the ward right away. He's gonna get taken out, and they should be able to actually stack right after the drop. Emo, they're, they're trying to interrupt this, this stack here. There's Emo, Oli coming over. They'll catch no tail. The shield's trying to help him out, Seb. Watch it from the side. Seb does still have the RP available. Looks to drop it down. Oh, it's going to be worth Demo with a quick oh, remnant out. They'll lose Oli, though, and Emo's still being oh, run down by Saxa. Oh, Saxa oh, needs one more hit. He may just get it. No, the chains are up. Emo's able to hold back Saxa. Still, Kaka very deep in enemy territory here. He's trying to hide in the trees. Thompson's got the astral step at the ready. Cut the same Kaka. He's trying to hide and no Shikuchi. How is he doing? Get away. I mean, Flyfly's still trying to poke at Seb, but now he can't do so. Thompson, he's still looking for Kaka. Remnant won't grab the dissimulate does it. Resonant Pulse, the damage is done. Thompson will be able to catch Kaka. Simply, damage that comes with it when you have a fairy trick and a null. Quite a lot. And Flyfly is low. Good step forward to block the pounce, but Shadow Dance is up still. Flyfly will escape. Topson getting hungry for action with these moves. All time where Sumail is just sitting back Solo getting space. full free farm. Already on his way toward that death, so after the Red Dragon, <laughs> it's gotta be super early. No tail. He's out again. He's got the six now, so it's a, a more awkward for Kaka and JT to commit on him. They'll let him walk this off. Oh, he's getting much better space around the map, though. Much more farm, at least. Just farming a bit better. All three cores ahead of their counterparts. Even E.T., as we see Saxa just running heroes down. Look at oh Kaka. My. Oh my goodness. A bit of he hesitance there on the punch from there from Saxa. Ah, the fish was coming out. JT will make stop. <laughs> this is actually a really smart play. All right. Might be able to get turned on if he does. And we've seen this more now. I saw a couple. The five position E.T.s are doing the three points and stop the four position to bring. No, 
So is that for even putting Radiant's more points? Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle oh, tower needs to be disintegrated. Has a... Dyer's have a fire remnant to work with. Got on yeah. the right side as well, Jim. It's T as well. Fisher's out. Chains for Toxie to the back of a no-tail, though. He's used the global, trying to save Emo. Emo's got the Remnant away. Underneath the tier two, Toxie, can he chase? He's going to look to. Remnant won't grab him, though. Emo does manage to survive. Ollie does get dove under the tower, though. Saxon coming in with a big hard punch. He's chasing him down with the phase boots. We're going to kill after all. The global usage, at least enough to bail Emo out of harm's way. Koji just being super aggressive with this lineup here. 3 k advantage. Continue to get more on the map, and they're looking to pressure towers too. And Deso is going to be done. And with the Deso, it's very likely that Sumail will just look to head into pit very soon. Him and, him and No Tail can probably duo in. Well, everybody else, they could show other heroes on the map, and the two of them can go in there and look to go for a play like that. There's no global as well, so yeah. it would be a good timing to go for that move. He still has like 400 gold until he does have that Deso. Dyer's putting up a barricade. JT trying to finish off bottom tower, but they're bringing reinforcement. Thompson's here. He wants to try and threaten a kill. Oh, Ollie showed his face. There he does. Fisher will buy a little bit of time for Ollie. Does Thompson want to commit for this? He's waiting out the curse of the silence. May just be long enough to allow Ollie to get far enough away, and it will be. Thompson can't keep chasing. It's very close to having the Yules done, though, Thompson. Yeah. Look, Ollie got a bit lucky there. <laughs> really thinking about committing onto him. But JT almost having Blink Dagger. That's probably the biggest indicator of when IG is going to start looking to actually be more active. But OG's just getting a bit too far ahead after this laning. Yeah, 4k lead, it just continues to grow. And IG forcing anything until they do have that blink is very difficult. They just don't really have the heroes to force buildings, don't have heroes to force fights without that blink. So 13 minute Deso complete on Samael. That is fast. Smart. Harry TA off to a fantastic start and seeming like a very good way to uh, respond to Delane against that, that core shaker, as you yeah. said. It's, it's just been a free start for Samael completely. These Any type of these ranged heroes, it really does feel like, because every time I'm seeing these melee heroes go for shaker, he just totems them back, and it's like, oh, geez, all right, we can't actually... actually lane very well, but yeah, Rage TA doesn't care. Refraction also, it seems like, like the perfect heroes are both factors of range and absorption. Radiant's yeah, middle tower. Yeah, OG've done a very good job of taking over this triangle from IG rather early. Yeah. Quite completely. And th they're getting these this big amount of farm, big amount of scaling, and they do they're the ones with the ET. And I'm seeing Soxa, he's already got a component of his agonist. Yeah, he's just free farming. He's on he's farming. He's yeah, he is. Free time down here. He's gonna hit all the creeps down here. And playing Slark versus ET is not fun. Thompson. Let's try and go with this for the DD. Well, the initial astral step though. Deepers are coming over, over to the side. Samael, he was trying to join them, but Flight Flight, even they found Samael, and he's very far away from the rest of the team, so Samael will be killed off. And now IG get more out of this. Kaka and J2, who they're going to look towards Thompson. We're going to step up, but Thompson actually dissimulate back in over towards Kaka. They put the stop on the two of them, Brent, and onto JT, but the slam comes out. Into the curse, into the silence, the sprinter is there from Saxon, comes in, takes down the shaker with one touch, over to Kaka as well. OG, they're winning the fight. They couldn't kill Thompson, IG, and now Thompson, he's chasing them down. Brent, they set up in the full position as he catches him on the escape. That was actually so... The splitter canceled the animation of the fissure. I think if the fissure does end up going down there, Thompson might just die and we see an absolute Yeah, Thompson would have been dead for sure. Splitter cancels Saxon. it, boom. They end up getting three kills because of it, and they take the whole ancient stack. They lose Sumail, which still hurts, but he's back up in three. Yeah, no, and now Global's down, down. Echo's down. I'm smelling Roshan. We'll see it again on the replay. Early start here. I mean, it, it didn't look to be a, be a good beginning for OG. It was somehow caught where he was here, completely separate from the team. And even up to the points where we have that this fight on the high ground, it still looks like it could be going south for OG. Back in action. Around the road, but steps in with the RP. He's caught Emo. On Emo. Emo taken out. Fly Fly. He's thinking about turning and fighting, but he cannot do so. He's got to run. He's getting burst so low, but the Astral Step that's assimilate. Not quite going to catch him as he's out with the pounce, but the Yules is there. Got him up in the air, into the stall. Fly Fly 
is taken out as Notel finishes him off with a miscoil. Carco's come in, but there's nothing to be done as the Weaver. He's got to run. And they get the rush in the meanwhile while well, killing two cores. And now Saxon. Oh, he's even looked to run down Ollie. And uh, Thompson, he's going to have the catch to do so. In with the Yule set up the Remnant OG. 12 to 5 now, 7k lead. Aegis, as you say, in some male's hands. Oh, boy, this, uh, of this could not have gone any better this early game. And OG coming in with their. Very much their own style here in the draft, and it's 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 doing OG things. It sure is. 17 minutes, 7k lead already. That is top towers under attack. And I mean, they sure they have a TA who's maybe not this like crazy Lakeham, but with ET, they always have great ways to scale into the game. And this that early with such a big advantage, going it's gonna down. be pretty massive uphill battle for the side of IG. Oh, they do is. have to blink on JT, but even in the last fight where they Maybe get a pretty good setup, just a little him. instance of a, you know, canceling the full stun lock. Allowing OG to take a huge one. They're probably so shaken up. Like, oh god. Like, <laughs> what do we do? We have Echo up in four. We have to just keep looking to make plays, even if we're playing at the ages. So they will smoke up immediately. Global, block, go ready. Tell. You'll have to attack this. Yeah, his top tower is oh, even if they can kill it. Top rubble. For the borrowed top, TP's coming in for the rest of OG. Would well, you want to try and find this? Just jumping in towards Cargo. No, still still alive. Hey, through the stack. Catch it two. The catch is both Seb and Thompson. Seb is able to put the extra pressure on Jules. Besides, Seb still alive here for now. Fly, fly, will dive in. Finish off Nutel with the dart pack. Two down on OG. Samel is looking to fight back. Saxa is running down Kucker and JT. Emo. Middle oh. power. Is that <laughs> it's right next to Superhouse. Oh, unfortunate there, but. Had no escape. And Saxa, he's getting some extras here on the side by with JT. Bishop will block off Saxa with the jump forward there from Sam. In on top of JT. Imagine again, they get a couple of kills. They do find the slam, but it's still not a not a great trade for them. They end up losing two in return. Samels were in with the cleanup. And it's the location of it too. It's not like they get any kills into no, anything deep. either. Look at the lane positioning as well. It's in OG's Dyer's favor. Both lanes are pushing out too. So IG don't really get much of anything out of it besides just some small type of kills. And OG come out ahead again. Seen the drama down. Chaka somehow in the way of the ancients. He has a full BKB on. Minutes in. And now those that instances we talked about damage, insane. damage instances on IG yeah. no longer. BKB gets popped. Damage instances were magic. Gonna be able to stay inside the fights very easy. And then mid, I fly. He's got right. shadow blade. Oh, Saxa has the big grenade too. Oh baby, e ET and Shaker now are the two. And I guess Tiny of course. Fake grenade. Get your plus damage as well. With him, so. He does have like a plus 400 with a fake grenade. He's gonna plus 400 throw it with something. Very fun. And he's halfway toward Aghanims. More than halfway. He's looking very difficult for IG these next few moments. I mean, what's the hype for you? Flat has got the shadow play done over the. over the. the Echo Saver, but. Okay. I guess when he has Silver Edge. What they can do is they can silver edge hit a bad in global, kill him in the fights, and then start focusing everybody else. But they do need to solve the back lines. They're looking to trace down Fly Fly here. He's actually going to get the grab with the remnant into the stop. They're locking down Fly Fly throughout the duration of his shadow dance. And Fly Fly, he's not going to get away from this. Does get denied by the neutral. So I guess something to be said, but still 45 seconds where he's off the map. Oh, God. And you look to make that aggro move and now look back to getting some type of passive farm. Kaka has been the one in passive farming for quite a long time on his team. Just getting solo crest. He's got Urn going back for Ags. But really getting out farm and getting caught all over. Oh, it's JT though. They're going to jump in. Echo followed up by the global. They're trying to take down Thompson. Thompson, he will fall. The slider fist comes into play. Emo takes him out. No, but it was no tell. The borrowed time's up. One more hit. And Emo's going to get silenced. He has to be a be careful, Saxa. He's running him down here. One more hit will do, but the controls there for JT. Top Saxa will getting in onto Emo. Quick slide in the chains. Hold Saxa off to the side. No tell. We'll continue to be chased down by Kaka and JT with a big slap from the Enchant Totem. They get the kill. Now, Saxa block off as well for JT. He's controlled Saxa. Saxa can't escape. It's another for JT. Huge by JT. No hesitation either. That Echo Slam absolutely instant down bottom when Thompson does commit forward. How much cool would he 
There's a lot for the shaker here. JT, he really is kind of just holding things together whilst they fall further and further behind. Still down 9K, but JT, definitely the... The, the sort of the spark of hope that IG need to turn this one around. Great jump, excellent follow-up, of course, from the global, and they have enough time to take out Thompson before any sort of help can arrive. And we said this multiple times too. Is that's why we were a little bit like, hmm, they picked the Abaddon into the silencer, and we see it right there. That global unable to bail out Thompson at all with any type of heal or shield. Yeah, big play by JT. Towers under Much attack. needed for them. Need a few more of those, of course, though. For sure. But, hey lead here for OG, the start that they've had, and the farm that Samael is getting. You see, yeah, no tell, a couple of components away from that Lotus, of course, that will there. Uh, answer to that combo that are executing. Just going to need the plate mill, which is pretty close. Considered as a five position. Radiant, they're scanning for enemies. Right now, global. Echo on cooldown. Be active. They're on the hunt for Emo. They see him too, but he does. Ha oh, they know. They see. I think they no see the defensive. Either. They see the remnant cool too. Down. Thompson's got to get the setup, otherwise Emo will be away. And he has he it. Just remnant straight out to the trees. They follow up with the RP. Thompson up. getting the catch. Pretty good awareness. <laughs> Smoke breaks. He knows exactly there where he is. is. Yeah. Hey, when you have these trees cut as well, this is a big indicator lately. Where he's gone. Yeah. So very good awareness there from Thompson. Also, they placed the ward to know that he didn't back up. They saw the remnant, so they're like, he's still here. He's looking to play. Very cocky. So they will punish him for it. Now they have TA with Agonyms, so two male can be anywhere on the map now because of this. And also can maybe survive Dyer's a lot of the ganks too. Under attack. Perhaps just psionic projection out of a lot of the plays that happen on top towers above the top. Also has no oh. hey, chance. Bottom tower. Curse of the last word as well, protect himself a little Dyer's bit better. Bottom tower is getting pushed around. It's tier two. That's quick. That it is certainly is. The push fortified. is here from OG. Radiant's top tower ain't looking too small. Mid lane, Thompson. He's got the catch on the car, cut somehow, heads over to a trap, and he's in. Gonna get involved, get himself another kill. Structures are forming around from A to point B. Still has a trap down bottom too if he sees an opportunity yep. to go back down there for the push. Yep, no tails pinging. No. Dyer's middle tower. And they're giving no I mean they are giving no tail farm too, like you mentioned. Prioritizing him to get that lotus so that he can always go for these saves. Yeah, it's just gonna be a solid answer to yep. sort of the one combo that's causing issues. Top oh, lane. Oh. And JT again. It's not enough burst straight away, but they do have the global to make sure the tops are still locked out on the way back down. Nice play. They are, you know, they're, they're being able to catch and kill Thompson with this, but it's not, that's not gonna be enough. They need much more here. Black light. Samael is just on the chase. He's more, taking out Kaka and diff. pushing away Emo as well by himself. Blackfly trying for the dive onto no tail. TP's are coming in. Blackfly really wants the kill. Does commit and get it. Just if he can get away here from Samael and Sax, it should be fine. He's got Depth Shroud as well, too. He's got so many ways to escape now. Spirit will go through him. So he was, but we'll be able to get away. And Sumail, yeah, Sumail literally just jumped into both the Ember and the Weaver and killed them because he now has taken the Shard. So he does have the Silence now versus these two as well, which is going to be very effective. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. He didn't get that packed Four, off. Set. One with the idea of the RP. Fish is going to pop for JT to try and just set some space for Bye-bye to get back, but it doesn't matter. They have the control with the Remnant and Samael. He's more than got the damage covered. He's just so farmed too, and now they still have RP for the upcoming move. No Echo, no Global. Need to look to threaten that high ground. Roche is up. I guess that with the time, 50 seconds, they want to push forward as much as they can, and then they'll probably back up and look for that Roche. Surprising to see no traps inside of it. Still hanging around. Feeling strong on Sumail. Oh, 
Lego creeps on the way. He's got it. And the brigands, of course, of course coming into play there versus, versus low HP phase. Brigands blade. Now we got Flex. Oh boy, Sax. Uh, I mean, oh. everything is just falling into place here for OG. They have, for they have run them over here in this first 26 minutes. IG still just that they, they haven't found the the moment to shake things up really. And they need to get BKB. The thing is now ET enemies. with this type of items, you need BKB on Slark. BKB is already finished on Ember, but Slark now cannot stand his ground in the fights. He will find a DD. This could be a bit of a difference maker. Ooh, sneak in the Roche. Could the, I mean. Okay. I think OG. That would be risky. Yeah. I'll take the yeah. OG scan. They both scanned. OG put a scan initially on the high ground when they were in the area, so. They're thinking about it. Right on top of a set. They, they're gonna start. They're going for it. But spirit. Yeah, this. The, they can't get away with this IG. There's no way. They're gonna have to try and take a fight, Samel. The Misha. Nine digs off. They're in. They follow up with the Echo Slam. They manage to take down Samel. The jump to the high ground, gets the jump done, the TA will fall, Seth. Seconds. Skewing Flyfly off to the side, but now Seth split for the rest of the team. Panels fall from Flyfly, they're in off the Magnus, it's a second kill. I guess they did not expect there to be a ward on the high ground there. Not at all. The they just really didn't. Right on top of Sumail, and now that's, that's a free rush. 65 seconds, IG. All right, here we go. Turning it around. JT really is the savior. J I mean, JT <laughs> is doing so much for them. Yeah. I mean, they've been down oh. sort of 10k for such a long time now, but JT, these moves, uh, these jumps are <laughs> certainly the difference maker here. And he's just about to himself another here over to No Tail. Borrowed time is still on cooldown. Five seconds. And it's too long. No Tail goes down. Another catch and another kill for JT. And now with Aegis, as well as the gem picked up, I believe, for Ollie. Yeah. Ali picking up a gem nice and early on for his team, too. We'll look to take out those TA traps so they can make sure that they aren't under vision in any of these fights. Don't look good. I think he's just gonna pass it over to the slot too. That's still the area. He has got an off base. He's taking a jump, but Five Light to get the dark pack off in time. Trying to get away with the shoes in. Zep. Take them. Aegis here for round two, but the remnant's set up. Is there any way that can help this slot? There is not. Zep puts a quick stop. To IG's attempt to push that tier two off the back of an Aegis is holy moly. I, I don't think they expect to get hit that hard. The ET spirit amping up the damage, Void Spirit with Agonims with Nether Shawl, just absurd amount of burst damage. He even got Death Shot off and he still both died. Well, that was their Aegis. Yep, that was sort of the the bit of a swing. Dyer's bottom tower. Swing about the other way. Back over towards the river as well. They found JT. Tops it in with the cash set. On top of the Ember, Emo, is he going to be able to get out of this one? He has got the BKB, so Dyer's that will allow him to get away, at least for now. As soon as they get themselves a, a bit of fortune riding in, in their direction, IG, they let it slip away. Maybe they thought, maybe they thought OG would be a bit scared to go for the move, but OG did, they did not care at all. They just still feel super strong, and they're still going to look to push forward here. Echo Slam back up, but third. Seconds for JT. Outside the base now, Samao. Horrible, Daedalus on its way over. Oh boy. Just bottom tower. It's just 9,000, 10,000 gold almost at heaven. And 20 seconds without JT. They can't get anything done without the Shaker. Gotta wait for it to be back up. OG now. Pushing up to the high ground here. What can IG do? Got four from Thompson. He just going straight in it. He's got Ryan. He's been so uh, The global is out. Thompson, he needs help. Oh. Got the dissimilate, but he's not getting out. Thompson's dead for 70. He, I mean, announced a mail. He's getting jumped on. Echo to control him. He will get the BKP off as well as the refraction. But they've got the numbers. IG, JT jumps over towards No Tail. No Tail, he goes down. Fly Fly still full HP and ready to fight. Going over towards Saxa. He'll have a little bit of time for himself with the magic immunity. But Saxa is in trouble. Three dead on OG. Okay. Uh, uh, Thompson, a Thompson. Uh, bit positive. deep there. Sumail does get out though, and so does Seb at very close moments. Sumail is able to get his projection out, and Magnus actually gets the TP out, and JT maybe he missed it. His totem put him on the high ground. He just missed the stun onto the Magnus. So two get out, but Thompson that heavily was, overextending. Yeah, he just it. went in and. Uh,
He used the aggressive duels. So I saw like, oh. I was like, hang on. I was like, oh, he's got BKB or he's got Aegis? <laughs> What's he doing? Guess he really thought but that Dotail could bail him out, but it was I just so. it was too deep. Yeah, that's uh, definitely the case there. Maybe it's mail. towers. Very lucky attack. to get out either. You know, if he got sort of chain lockdown after initiation for JT, been dead for sure, but Radiant damage still very much plenty here on OG as IG. They hold. Every single time that they do have Echo and Global, it feels like they have a very good, very good chance to take the fights. Besides that, though, OG does have a bunch of good ones. But now, Taka, he's got Naganims. So in some of these situations where perhaps they think get these kills, he's got to be able to save you. Lots Radiant to save on IG. With the crowd and with the time lapse, it's going to be. Let's find that. I'm gonna try and hit. Have to hit. The global's not hit. Yep. Have to hit while Echo and Global are down. But it's not very long now. We got 15 true, yeah. seconds on Echo and Global is pretty much back since they're starting to get Thompson. Good to look for the setup on two emo B emos. Got the BKB. Got the Axe time lapse. They will have that bailout. Yeah. Ooh, he's getting the jump, but it's, it's just a silencer. I mean, still can't eliminate that Global, which would be nice, but Holly. He's got the ghost set. I mean, he's not even dying. He jumped for the top, so they will be able to burst him. So, all these out of the fight has got buyback available, though, if they do feel the need. And that was the RP, yeah, but it allows them to get the range track, so it doesn't allow OG to get much more, though. Just up to tier two. Zoom out, just projections up there. Axe is done on Ema. Yep, and he already grabbed the shard from the Ghost Shard. That is top about to be raided in top level. Oh, that could be taken easily used to do. His fire remnants deal damage per second versus TA refraction. Yeah, very nice against the tier. Tower has fallen. Also, something. Yeah. also, of course, being able to regain his charges whenever he does get a kill. Just against the TA, very nice against the blinks. Yep. And Seb might uh, struggle a bit more to get these RPs off with the, the remnants being thrown around. And as we said, Echo Slam is up. Yep. IG's Time hunting. It's a bell. It's a Fine. By leading him first, trying to, to give him vision information. Hi, Sanj now onto Topson, so a bit of resistance to try and break out of these combos that IG is slamming down onto them. Like as well for Samel, so keep his distance and a chance of repositioning himself in the chaos. The thing about this though is that Sumail is starting to hit critical mass quite soon. IG has a lot more space to grow, so OG definitely wants to, and they're in. to look for They get the jump up to the high ground. Up to the side, fly, fly, he's looking to turn back in, they get the chance up on him too, the side, yeah. the echo slam, he's caught the three of them, oh no, Samael, he's gonna get taken out, no chance to fight for Samael, as IG immediately collapsed on him, once again, JT starting off the action, OG, they're trying to scatter back to the base, not gonna make it though, three dead on OG, as yet again, IG gonna jump, no tails curry, is dead, that's the gem gone yep. as well. IG, they're hitting back hard, and OG. Radiant's middle power is not Obviously, that mistake on the bottom lane, a bit of an overextension. And, and since that point, the fights have just got easier and easier for IG, because IG, they've, they've all sort of just got Radiant's that item that they're waiting for. Under... We'll see it again here. They're... They walked Radiant's up as three together. We did yeah, this, these melee right. heroes versus the Shaker. Yeah, JC jumps in, him. and then look at Emo. Just five spirits on top of Sumail to make sure that he can burst him out. Completely on top of him. I think Sumail did get the BKB off, but when he was pretty much on like 100 HP, yep. so it was irrelevant, didn't matter. And I was just mentioning how, you know, Sumail, he's starting to get to his point of soon critical mass. So all these moments where IG get these kills, they're starting to get a lot of momentum. And maybe OG is starting to run out of steam a little bit here versus this constant combos. Because now, they're so high level too, right? Level 24 TA, respawning in 30. Echo's going to be back up. So is Global. Yeah. Every single time that they do respawn, it's just IG's ready to fight again. Fresh is going to come pretty soon as well for Emo. Yeah. And oh, and of course he finds yeah. the Cloak of Flames as well. Didn't point that one out, but another yes. phenomenal oh, item five. versus TA. Blaster gun JT that BKB, we did earlier. The fly, fly as well. It's just, yep. Everything's coming together. It really is. Start to look more and more difficult for OG as it progresses. Yeah, they can't afford any more mistakes. Another mistake from OG, and yeah, the game's going to be completely in control of IG. Seb, it's going for the jump in. And the rest He's of OG, though, are they actually able to back him up? Thompson will look to jump in, but the BKB is going to run the list. On to Seb, jump in for JT. He's got the echo. The turn is about to be getting changed up. He can only just get the BKB up, but again, it's too late. Samael down and down. OG 
again having to run. I mean, Saxon, he's trying to get back in onto Emo, but no tails dead. Saxon's got Toxic by his side, will manage to jump and they kill Emo. Saxon, uh, uh, well, tries to CP out, very optimistic attempt there, does not pay off. He is also dead. Only Toxic left alive. Neo Toxic, but he is fly fly zooming across the map here. He's got to step but, up. But uh, yeah, he's, he's not going to be able to catch it. But again, four dead on OG. IG, they're just taking every single team fight uh, in their favor. And JT just, and he, he's got target priority. He sees Sumail, he echoes Absolutely. Sumail. Absolutely, JT. And just chain stuns him every time. It really does feel like he, he has been the hero here for RG this game. And, it, and in the initial go, too, he even fissure blocked off No Tail from yep. getting into the fight earlier on there when he could potentially maybe get towards step. And yeah, this has just been every single time. And it's also a bad end. He does pop the ult, but he walks into range of the Echo, so he gets chain stunned during it, so he can't even look to protect Sumail to get an Radiant's earlier Yeah, that's Is the thing. Right? It's sort of just the wide area of the effect that JT's throwing out these stuns yeah. from it. It does mean that that... As you said, what can normally be seen as a bit of a counterplay to that, it, it, you have to deal with the follow-up stuns when they come out as thick and fast as they do from JT. Yeah, you can't quite get that save off. And Samel, two times now, two fights where IG have just made this 25k net worth hero just completely redundant as they just lock him out completely. steps up. He's in trouble here. Yule's up. Can he get away from this? The stop actually is enough. Saxa able to make sure that there's space for Magic Chains. He's on the chase. Jumps in. Set. He's not getting away. He goes down. And again, OG, they've got to head back. About the Magnus. I mean, they've been struggling. 5v5, 4v5. That's definitely not going to be an option for OG. And Sumel responds. And Echo Slam and everything's back up. And no Sam. That's this. OG, they've. They've got to somehow find JT, like, at the start of these fights. It really does feel. If they let the Shaker get the free jump on some mail, the fight's just over every time. Yeah. And now there's going to be a refresher shard as well from this Roche. So, I mean, Emo, if he wants it, if I think... I would say an argument for JT to just take I it because of how good he played, well, but... Well, Emo's pretty close to his own refresher, right? I think so, yeah. Let's see. No, okay, well... Yeah, he'll, he'll take it now. I mean, honestly, but there's an argument for JT to take because he is 100% sure. the MVP of this game. But the thing is, as well, you know, JT is probably saying, dude, look I, don't what I don't need it. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't need a refresher shard. I can, I can handle them with one round of my spells. And at the end of the day, and he can. a refresher shard with an Ember Spirit that makes it 3,000 burst damage. Yeah, I can throw it all five, dunk it. Bombs. Do it again, dunk it. So it's just so much burst and so much potential for Ember. And double BKB and whatnot. Much more useful. Smile. Closing in on the Eon disc. That oh, it. is going to be the one answer. It's a bit of an awkward answer, of course, to carry, but he has to. Got to set a cap. Whoa! Be straight away. The globe was going to come out afterwards. The five fight's gone. Now, is the Aegis combat he's back for round two? Samael, the BKB is now one. Now going to be giving the jump in from Eon. There's straight away. Jason on top of the globe. Samael, he's going to go as a big splitter though. Samael, he's still alive. He's only going to waste him. He's in with the RP. Tops and closes over. Have they got the damage? Jackson coming in with a big punch. They've taken down two, Emo out, Holy Kunk as well, only to fall, as JT, they'll be able to find him, also Saxon just coming in with a hard hit, Samael has the range. Ember's dead for 80. Fly Fight gets deleted in two hits from TA to start the fight, and again now we swing it the other way. Yeah, this, <laughs> this time around they couldn't... Yeah, but they got so close to that killing Samael. This time he was able to break away from the combo. This time Notel was close enough to bail him out of thing too. Has Even after an issue, using the BKB quite early, it didn't matter. Yeah. Everything still keeps Samael alive. Samael? Be able to force himself back here with a hurricane pipe. Buyback comes out from JT. So a couple of buybacks being used by G. Jump for Zeb. He's got the catch. And that. It's 100 seconds. It's a dead oh, slot. A very, very dead slot. Where's his money? No money. 800 short of buyback. That actually might just be. That might be dead. I think he can at least get the megas. I mean, 80 seconds without the slot. Fly, fly. Bye bye. Dyer's top tower. That might be it. That might be it. That might be the end. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Fortified. They're going to have the combo, right? Nice. How long Global's up? Global's up at 20. They'll have the combo. Nice. JT, he's been doing some heavy lifting. He's got a. He needs Emo, though. He's got even more weights on him now. He needs Emo damage. Dyer's top tower. Zep. He's got a catch. The silence as well with the trap. Kaka's gone. No he's buyback gone. on him either. Jump for JT, he's gonna try for everything on Samael, Samael, he's got the BKB back up. 
They couldn't lock him down forever. The split is out to JT. No buyback on the shaker. That is. That's it. GG. OG. They'll get it. They'll wow. get the win here in game one. And it's it was after such a big fight back from IG. An up battle from 15k network deficit. <laughs> Winning every single fight after that, right? They won three, four fights in a row on IG, and then one fight that OG went bottom because of Sumail hiding in the tree line, sniping out the Slark, getting a clutch shield from from uh, No Tail. They end up taking it, and a beautiful RP, of course, from Seb there. Yeah, Seb that yeah, also stepping does up in that last fight. Really does come in. Wow, what a game! Uh, wow, well, it feels like classic sort of OG winning an OG.